Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, we've got a report right now. The mysterious planet number nine. Or is, is planet number nine, is it Nibiru? Or is there Nibiru and a planet number nine? Well, NASA is getting concerned as this mysterious planet number nine is tugging on NASA's Saturn probe. There's been a report on space.com uh, says that the hunt is on to find planet nine, a large undiscovered world, perhaps 10 times as massive as earth and four times its size. Uh, scientists think could be lurking in the outer solar system. Matter of fact, uh, a guy named Batjen and Mike Brown, uh, two planetary scientists from the California Institute of Technology, uh, they are presenting the evidence for the, its existence. They brought this out in January. I covered this. Uh, but now other teams have searched for further proof by analyzing the archive images and proposing new observations to find it with the world's largest telescopes. Something pulling on the probe. No question. Is it planet X? Is it planet 7X? Is it planet Nibiru? Is it planet number nine? Is it out there? And why? Well, they've already told us that NASA told us in 1984 there was a planet X that was discovered. Then in 1992, they went away from it after their lead scientist mysteriously was killed. Now, in December of 2015, they're back with planet number nine. Now, I was on the telephone last night with um, a man that worked 32 years on, what's called, on what he calls the Nibiru Project. I don't think that would probably be the official name, but that's what he calls it, the Nibiru Project. And he's telling me, he says, Paul, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And he's very ill, very sick. He wouldn't be lying. He's not lying to me. I know his name. I know right where he lives. And I plan on visiting him. And he says to me, I'm telling you, the, the Nibiru planet is pulling, the magnetic pull on the earth. That's why you're seeing the uptick in earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. And you're already starting to see the thunderbolts. Thir you know, 10 people have been killed in India. In the la uh, uh, no, 30 people were killed in India in the last 10 days from large thunderbolts of lightning. And he says that's going to really increase. And he says to me last night, Paul, by June and July, there's going to be a very, very major, serious, he says, uh, meteor, uh, meteorites breaking through the Earth's atmosphere and some will even hit the ground. It's just going to be too much. We're go getting ready to go through the Nibiru Debris Trail. All right? And I'm saying to him, are, are you serious? Talk to me. I mean, I, I, I mean, are you just blowing smoke? Or, I mean, what are you talking about? And he says, no, I'm just telling you. I'm telling you. June and July, we're going to go through part of the debris trail. Not even the whole debris trail, just, just a little bit of it. But he said it's going to, there's definitely going to be a major increase. And also, thunderbolts will continue to increase throughout the year. Watch earthquakes, watch your volcanoes, and watch your thunderbolts. All right? All right. So, okay. And the meteorites that's going to start, um, you know, hitting in the earth. Now, for, they said a fireball last night just lit up the New Zealand sky last night. All right? Um, I'm just reporting. I'm giving you this information. The man says, look, I got I to gotta get this off my chest. I cannot, you know, I don't want to die with this information, uh, you know, and, and I got to get it out there. And I, of course, you know, all right. All right. So we're going to be bringing some guests on next week. We are planning on, um, we got Avi Lipkin actually going to be with us uh, on Tuesday. We got uh, Rabbi Leora uh, Rosenberg that will be with us tomorrow on Friday. And then on uh, Monday, we're planning, if we can, to have Mike from around the world to talk about this subject uh, and other subjects. And then we're going to have Tuesday, Avi Lipkin from Jerusalem will be our guest Tuesday. You don't want to miss that either. And then later in the week, we're trying to get BP Earthwatch to really, we want to get some information from him 
about the Yellowstone National Park super volcano and anything else that's going on, which could be solar flares in the sun or asteroids or things taking place. But I really want to bear down on that with him. So we don't have that confirmed. We have confirmed tomorrow's guest, Rabbi Leora Rosenberg, and Tuesday's guest, Avi Lipkin. Those two are locked down. All right? Oh, wow. Don't miss today's live broadcast. Starts at 12 noon Eastern. We're going to be having Andrew from Iowa, whose grandmother's house burnt completely down. His grandmother died there, but the Bible survived in an incredible miracle. We're going to talk about that. So what are we going to do about this situation with planet number nine? Well, we're going to continue to watch it. Obviously, NASA is. Teams of now uh, astronomers, high-powered telescopes. Uh, the, I'm sure the Hubble telescope and others are going to be turned in that direction. Everybody's wanting to see what's going on. Um, also, just this month, there was evidence from Kasani spacecraft orbiting Saturn helped close in on the missing planet. Many experts suspect that within as little as a year, someone will spot this unseen world, which would be a monumental discovery that changes the way we view our solar system and our place in the cosmos. They know something's pulling on everything. They know this. The magnetic pull. They know this. All right. And uh, they've already told us once. I mean, but here we are again. Uh, anyway, Batjen and Brown made the case for planet number nine's existence based on the gravitational effects on several Kuiper Belt objects, the icy bodies that circle the sun beyond Neptune's orbit. Theoretically, though, its, its uh, gravity should also tug slightly on the planets, the moons, and even other orbiting spacecraft. With this in mind, uh, they're going to continue to monitor and search the heavens for planet X, Nibiru, or planet number nine. I'll be back with more current world events. Here's what Jesus said. He said, there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things that are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Is it the gravitational pull? Jesus is coming soon. Are you saved? 